if you go back in 1885, um, you'd remember that gaming started, arcade gaming, console gaming kind of started in Japan itself. That's where the culture spread from. Um, then it went to PC gaming, then mobile gaming. Um, so that's where it all started. And JPRGs is where Japan, Japanese gaming companies obviously were very strong. There are seasons, there are flavors, there are times when one kind of game comes up and does well. Uh, JPRGs is not an annual game, for example, unlike let's say a Call of Duty or a FIFA, which are an annual game. These JPRGs are, um, they come after three, four or five years. And some of them are doing extremely well off late. Uh, Capcom has done an exceptional job. And recently, as you said, Bandai has done a fantastic job. Do you think there's ever going to be a market for shooters in Japan? Because obviously you look at the likes of Activision and they had a little bit of a derisory set of numbers in terms of their play account. Obviously, Microsoft is looking to improve its performance at the same time. They just bought Activision. So do you think that that's ever going to shift in Japan or is it strictly the ones that can produce the JRPGs, the, one that can, the ones that can really tailor they're offering to what the consumers there are looking for, those single-player games like a Nintendo, are they really only going to be the winners in Japan moving forward? Uh, again, to a certain extent, yes. The first-person shooting games you're talking about, uh, the ones that are extremely popular in Western markets, are less popular in Japan. But then a variant of that, uh, you might recall Splatoon. This is a Nintendo first-person shooting game. Uh, there's not much of blood and gore. Uh, it's a bit cartoonish, and that's been very popular in Japan. So there are offshoots, but then again, the Japanese culture for Jap you know, and, the, and Japanese players are probably better understood by the Japanese developers themselves. Um, we haven't had much success for Western gaming companies, including Activision, Take to Ubisoft, uh, um, and EA in Japan in a very long time. But Japanese companies occasionally have had very big success in Western markets. Uh, Nintendo and Sony, of course, are, are the major players there. 